This is Monica. There are lots of trees near Monica's house. So lot of birds come here. There are sparrows and there are crows. In the courtyard of her house, pigeons come every day. Monica gives them seeds. She also gives them water. When the pigeons peck at the seeds with their beaks, Monica finds it very funny. But the pigeons also make the surroundings dirty, which Monica does not like at all. Then she waves her hands and drives them away. The pigeons then fly away. There is a small baby in Monica's house. She is her little sister. Monica's mother shows the sparrow on the tree to the baby and feeds her rice. Mother calls out to the sparrow. Little sparrow, little sparrow, come here. The baby likes the sparrow a lot. The sparrow chirps and flies here and there. The baby looks at the sparrow and eats soft rice. Once the sparrow had built a nest of grass in the house. She had also laid eggs there. Little baby sparrows came out of the eggs. When the baby sparrows grew a little older, then they flew away. Sometimes there are crows sitting on the trees. Once Monica saw a crow sitting on a tree. The crow saw a piece of chapati under the tree. The crow called and called the other crows. Monica saw that the crows eat different types of food like papad, chapati, rice and such food items. So Monica started keeping chapati, rice and papad under the tree. Monica's friend's name is Chinu. Chinu has a parrot as a pet in her house. It is in the cage. He eats chilies. It also eats guavas. It talks nicely. Once Monica had gone to the garden. At that time, she saw the parrot sitting on the tree. The parrot flew from one tree to another. Monica said to her mother, I, this parrot from the garden is flying. But the parrot in Chinu's house only sits. I said, all parrots can fly. But no one takes pet parrots outside. So pet parrots kept at home do not fly. Monica enjoyed seeing the parrot fly. Monica kept looking at it for a long time. There were a lot of other colorful birds in the garden. There were peacocks, there were ducks in the pond, there were kingfishers on the tree. All the birds had wings, but not all were able to fly high. Mother said, some birds are able to fly very high. An eagle can fly very high. Some birds are not able to fly high. The peacock's feathers are quite heavy, so a peacock cannot fly high. After seeing all the birds, Monica came home. She said to her mother, Birds have such beautiful colors. Why don't we have beautiful colors like them? Mother said, God has given them those colors, dear. The mother got a very beautiful colorful frock for Monica. After seeing the frog, Monica was happy. What did we learn? There are birds in our surroundings. The birds which we see are sparrow, pigeon, crow and parrot. Sparrows and pigeons are birds which eat seeds. Crows can eat food items like chapati, rice and papad. We see a lot of different birds in the garden. The kingfisher can be seen on the tree and near the pond. Ducks are in the water. Birds make nests for their babies. They lay their eggs there. When the babies grow a little big, then they fly away. All birds can fly, but among all birds, the eagle is able to fly very high. But the peacock is not able to fly high. Birds are of different colors. Activity
which birds do you see? Write the names of birds that you see in your area. Collect the dropped feathers of the birds. What do birds use while making a nest? Observe carefully. Make a list of them. Match the birds with their colors. Birds Crow Duck Parrot Pigeon Peacock Colors Blue-green Black Grey White Green Which is your favorite bird? Describe it. Narrate your experience.